Hey everybody, thank you for joining in. Tonight we're going to do another e-liquid review. The product we're going to take a look at is from the Mamasan, and this is called Super Cereal. You can find Mamasan on the web at www.themamasanieliquid.com. You can also find it on a bunch of uh, other social medias. I can't put those things down below because YouTube says you can't do that no more. Um, I picked this up over at NVE. The 100 milliliter bottles, you can get them in 0, 3, and 6, and your nickel, uh, your PGVG is a 70 VG, 30 PG onto it. Um, I think I got these for 2 for 15. I picked up a couple of them. Um, don't exactly remember the prices. Um, I picked up a bunch of different ones, and uh, like I said, I just don't remember the price, but I think it was like 2 for 15 or 2 for 20. Either way, I picked up a couple different flavors. They gave me a little sample pack of some of their other flavors. Anyways, but those are just sample packs there that I'm going to be trying out or giving away either way. But um, anyways, when you get this here, it comes in the nice little cardboard box. And what you see on the box is going to be onto the label here as well, also with all your different warnings. So let's get rid of that box out of the way. Um, it does come with the child safety cap, tamper-proof ring, and they have... You see on the front there, it says the mama sign over here. It's going to tell you it's a, I should probably flip it this way so you can see it. Three milligrams, 70 VG, 30 PG, 100 milliliters there. Then over here, it tells you it's super cereal and all your different warnings. Under age, everything's all right there. And you have your UPC. I believe that UPC is also a uh, something for traceability for their, for their inventory as well also so if there's a problem so very very good you can also pick up salt nicks over there i'm not a salt nick fan so i don't even look at that when they offered it I'm like, nah. but anyways so let's get this underway the description onto this here is says a perfect blend of your favorite colorful sugar coated cereal oh there's a little side note to this after i take a few vapes onto it We're firing this off here on my Plan B mod with uh, the Doc RDA, also from Plan B. Thank you, Danny Castle. Without him, I wouldn't have this. So every time I do use it and I'm on video, I'm going to thank you for it because you are the man. I love you, brother. It's coming in. I'm getting like a Fruit Loop and a Fruity Pebble mixture. It's a dry mixture. I'm not getting any milk whatsoever. I'm just getting a very sweet, not over lemony. Very, very good. It does get some of those lemon notes, but that's just the way it's built. It's not that overpowering. So now getting back to that little side note, when I was at the NBE and I tried it, they were one of the very few places that actually let you let that had your samples in zero milligram. There were so many of them there that you would try that had three milligram into it. If you stopped at like 15 booths, man, you were freaking nicked up. But anyways, they had it in zero. I tried them and my wife vaped zero anyway, so she was loving them as well also. So I said, get me a three milligram and get her the zero. And then all these are all in zero also. What I tried there was an amazing flavor. It was like, wow, I really, you know, I stopped doing a lot of uh, cereals a long time ago, and then I'd gotten one from another company and trying to turn me back onto it. And then I had a couple other ones that were pretty good, but not like something I would do all the time. So I really wanted to try the Mama Sun because I've tried a bunch of their other flavors and they're very good. So anyways, bring it forward now. I get it home and I crack this thing open. Throw it on my dripper, and boy, it was just so, so lemony. It was just like soapy lemony. Well, it came to the conclusion. There was a couple things that were different. First, it has nicotine. Second, it was fresh. So what I did was, I've had this a couple weeks. I steeped it, shook it, took the cap off for a half hour, did that for a few days, and then let it sit back for another few days after that. When I crack this open now, 
I'm getting exactly what I got at NVE. Now, a little another sidebar. I don't have the tank here. Some liquids taste better in drippers than they do in tanks and vice versa. This one here, I would recommend in a tank. That was how I also tried it, is in a tank there, not in a dripper. And when, I think it's over there. But anyways, I, the one that I've been using for it is a, just a regular raw uh, tank from Ogvape. And it's just a little 1.3 ohm coil into it, nothing special. But because when it's in a tank, it kind of caramelizes upon itself, that's what I'm getting. So it really in a tank, it really shines a lot better. Um, it's still very, very good into the in a dripper, but if you're a tank person, this is a cereal that you want to try in a tank, in my opinion. Um, again, I got this at NVE, but you can pick it up at uh, www.themamasaniliquid.com. I, like I said, I can't put any of their social links down below, but you can find them everywhere. A lot of other distros also supply them. Very, very good company. I've enjoyed a lot of their different flavors. I got a few more, like I said, that they gave me some samples to try out little samples like this, nothing special. Um, so that's going to do it again. Um, I can definitely recommend this one, but I would definitely recommend it in a tank better than a dripper. It is good in a dripper, but it's definitely better in a tank. So I don't want to take up a bunch of your time. That's going to do it for tonight, folks. So until the next time. Keep vaping.